I actually received an email from a viewer last night in regards to all of these ICUs uh, being stretched. And uh, she was asking what's up with Sleep Train Arena. And now here we are, Sleep Train Arena announcing that this they will be using this as a field hospital to help out with those hospitals that are overflowing in their ICUs. In fact, I'm right in front of Sleep Train right now. You can see the uh, rail is up right here, the barrier. Unfortunately, we are not allowed on the premises, but they are getting things ready. Now, you may remember earlier this year, toward the beginning of the pandemic, Sleep Train Arena was then transformed into a field hospital. Now, over the summer, the region was able to slow the spread of the virus, so overflow beds were not needed here. Now, with the coronavirus cases surging, the state is turning to sleep trying to help out and a local nurse tells us we have to do our part to help prevent the spread of the virus. You are making a decision about to social distance or not to have a family get together. Just remember that COVID or no COVID when you need an emergency room, you want the nurses and doctors to have the time, the space and the resources to care for you. Now, Sleep Train happens to be one of 11 surge sites across the state in warm status, which means these sites have beds readily available that could be activated at any time. Now, California will activate 20 of the 244 beds here at Sleep Train Arena to, to treat COVID and non-COVID patients. Now, when it comes to staffing, the state is currently finalizing that um, in these surge sites. And this particular site here at Sleep Train is set to open on Wednesday, Walt. So we'll definitely see, but I know that uh, nurses here and mm -hmm. some of the uh, healthcare professionals we spoke to say that it's a sigh of relief to be able to have this uh, uh, arena here to open up for them.